Hello princesses! Today I'm doing a little outfit haul from YesStyle and this theme is character inspired. The character that I wanted to emulate this time was actually Cinderella. It was my second choice. I actually wanted to do something from um, Kiki's Delivery Service. I was like, that would be really cute with a huge bit bright red bow. And then I saw this dress and I was like, oh, Cinderella. Okay, let's do that. And especially since I had some really beautiful blues in my bikini haul last time, I was like, this sounds like it's going to be a good plan. We're halfway there. So this is the original Cinderella inspired look that I wanted to do. And there's a few extra details that I've got to show you. So first up, we're going to talk about the dress, which is probably my least favorite thing, <laughs> unfortunately. I thought the dress was going to be a bit more of a muted shade of blue. It's quite like bright. I have two other blue items that I thought would be closer to, so I've got three different kinds of blues here. I have a blue headband and then a bit more of like a dusky blue bag. And so in comparison, this dress is really like very bright blue. I'm not really sure if it's a Cinderella blue. I thought this would be more of a Cinderella blue and this one I knew was going to be a bit off, but that's okay. For me, I think that the dress is a little bit of an off color. It's not my favorite color on me and it's not a very great fit. The dress itself has these little ties down the side, so you can make this waistline a little bit higher, which I think is quite cute. But there's two different fabrics. The top is made out of an elasticated like spandex material. It still feels like soft, which is nice. And the dress part is like a, I'm not really sure, like a polyester maybe I would say. It's not finished at the bottom super nicely. Like it's not tucked under, it's really uneven. And the two different colors do like the two different fabrics do look slightly off in coloring, but the thing that is the worst for me, I think, is that it has one of these little shelf second linings. So on the inside, there's another bit of fabric, but it only goes so far down. And so you can clearly see where this line of fabric is in comparison to the rest because the rest is quite see-through. Other than that, the dress is quite sweet. It has the square neckline at the back as well, which I really like, and it has pockets, which is great. The pockets are really far down though, like I have to reach all the way down straight arms to get to the pockets, and it's a little long. I could get it taken up if I liked it that much, but for me personally, I was really excited about the dress. I was like, this would be a really nice summery dress, it'll be so cute. I don't like it at all. <laughs> so, although I think that it works kind of well for a Cinderella theme, and it was cheap enough, it's probably not one that I'm going to repurchase. The next thing, of course, is the choker. This is the cheapest choker that I could find because I knew that I wasn't going to wear this again. It is velvet. It is quite thick, as is the choker for Cinderella as well. And it just does up at the back with silver hardware. All in all, it's still sweet, but it's probably not my favorite. And then for the headband, because Cinderella does have usually like a big white headband, I have actually tried quite a few and I couldn't quite get one that looked as sparkly as the actual Cinderella headband, so I went for one that has these pearl details. These are quite cool because this one in particular, if I can get it to focus, oh, beautiful hand trick, it has different shapes of pearls. So you've got the large size and the small, and they're kind of interspersed throughout, and it makes it look slightly more unique than just having one line of pearls. However, the pearls are just held on by fishing wire, so there's underneath, you can see all the wires, and then the pearls will slide around. So they will sometimes actually pop off the top. They will kind of like follow around and then you'll end up with pearls underneath. All you need to do is kind of push them back the other way and it's fine. I really, really like this. I think it looks very cute and it's definitely one that I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis as well because I think that it looks really nice with the hair, which is very sweet. The hair also has a few curls throughout, less curls than this morning because I also got one of these bad boys to try out. And I'm gonna insert some footage now of me wrapping my hair in it last night, of which I didn't really wanna talk about it while I was doing it. So I was like, okay, I will just do a voiceover when I do the video tomorrow. So I slept in this one last night with damp hair and it was fairly comfy, apart from the fact that I did use the clip at the back of my head to keep the actual, like, I'm gonna call this a snake, it's a little snake, in place because otherwise the curls would unwind as I, if I just left it there. I'm not really sure how everybody else does it, but for me they just, they unwind. So 
The sleep was a little bit tricky. I usually sleep on my side, so it wasn't so bad, but I did often kind of roll onto the clip, which is not great. I don't know how I'm gonna fix that, but I'll find a way. In the morning, all I had to do is take off the little scrunchies, which are honestly very tight to get three times around, so it was a bit hard to take the scrunchies off and then pull the snake off my head and then I was left with these big bouncy curls. I really like how the curls turned out. They didn't look too flat at the back and they didn't have any sort of like frizz to them like they did with my robe curls. So I think Cinderella does have like curly hair for her like off days. So this is definitely one that I actually really liked. I wish it wasn't so big. I mean, I can probably store this somewhere, but it's quite good for what it is and I would definitely use it again. However, of course, when you use any kind of curling that has heatless, the curls do drop throughout the day, so my curls were much curlier in the morning and they are now just kind of like little wavies. I do not mind. It is okay. The next item that you can't see at the moment because I haven't got them on are shoes. And these ones, Cinderella obviously has the iconic glass slippers. I was never going to get that. So I got these little cream sandals with bows and pearls because cute. I wanted to show you guys how you put this together because when I got them, it just comes like this. So it's got a little heel with a loop. The front is all set up just fine, but it eventually needs to look like this. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys quickly how I set it up because I was like, okay, I've got a shoe, I've got a ribbon and I've got this, which has no clips. It's just like, it's just a loop. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to figure this out. It's really easy. I don't know why I was worried about it because the bow goes at the back of the shoe. From what I can remember, I probably should go back and like relook at it though, to be honest. But I kind of like how this works. So first you want to thread the ribbon through the back of the loop and make sure that it's mostly even. Pearl detailing is going to go around the front of your foot. So on each side, you're just going to loop through each side of those little hoops that you've got. So you'll end up with one hoop going through there and then the other hoop going through the other side. Honestly, these are going to be such a pain to take on and off. So if you're going to like a house party, I would not recommend them. I also don't know how they're going to go for like a day's wear because I could see these being incredibly uncomfortable because there's no elastic. But they are very cute. So maybe like a wedding sort of thing. So what you'll end up with is the pearls going around the front of your foot. And then you'll have your heel here. And then to tighten the shoe, you pull the ribbon this way and tie it up in the back. I hope that makes sense because when I put it on I was like I don't know how this is supposed to go, there's no tutorial, I am so confused. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to put some different footage in because this is the worst angle ever but that's the length of the dress and that's how the shoes are looking. They are really 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 cute but they are such a bee to get on and off. I would definitely think about adding some elastic somewhere to make them more permanent. I gotta say the choker is actually fairly hard to take off as well which is not great because you want it to be quite tight around your neck so it doesn't look like floppy but then getting it off you kind of have to choke yourself out a little bit to actually undo it. And because I had a few extra dollary dos left in the budget I wanted to get some of the more like off-duty Cinderella kind of looking things or like just Cinderella inspired items so I ended up with this little blue headband which I really really like. The color is gorgeous and because I've got my bangs at the moment I love having headbands because then if I'm too lazy to do my bangs that day I can just put a headband on and it's good to go. And then I also got this very sweet little bow necklace which again is more like a choker sort of style. I'm not really sure if I love it love it but I do think that it looks really cute, especially with this kind of look. It's just little pearls and then there's a little bee bow in the middle. I'm not sure if I will wear this all that much, but I do think that it looks very sweet, especially with this more square kind of cut because this is a little bit more harsh and then this softens it up a lot. And then lucky last is the bag. And I saw this one and I was like, that's a really cute color. It's not going to match with anything because it's more like dusky blue, but I think it would be really nice. It's kind of like a purse, so it has a zippered side where it has your regular like wallet sort of details. And then on the front it has a, looks like a coin purse, but really good for cell phones. It's huge, so my cell phone does fit in it and you can definitely fit other stuff in there too. There's no like pockety sections in the front, it's just the pocket. And it comes with a crossbody strap, so... You can wear it literally like across the body. 
I'm just move the camera. I don't want to move the camera. Ugh. Like that. Or you can hold on to it, or you can just wear it across one of the shoulders. And I think that this will be really helpful for when I'm going out to like maybe a concert or something and I just want to bring like one small bag that I could hold onto like this, not one that like has to sit under your shoulder where everything lives in it. And it's a really nice material, it feels quite soft, it is not leather, but it does feel very lovely. So I'm very happy with this bag as well. <laughs> so that is what I picked up for the Cinderella inspired outfit. I am absolutely in love with quite a few of the things. I love both of the headbands. I really love the bag. The shoes, I like them, but I feel like I need to engineer a way to put some elastic in them so that when I take them on and off, I'm not dying every single time by having to lace them up. I thought that there would be a clip around the side. Like really, I thought there would be a clip around the side. I didn't think that this was like a, you have to put it on sort of shoe. I also really like the headband for the curls as well. I think it's really good. It's so easy to just yoink it off your head in the morning. So you can do your makeup and everything. And then the last step would be to just Make it off. So good. I can take and leave the choker. I knew it wasn't going to be my thing, but otherwise it is very good value. Also, I wish this had a little bit of elastic so that when you put your fingers in to undo it, I don't feel like I'm choking myself quite so much. Not really the time and place. And then last is the dress. It was had so many possibilities. It looks gorgeous on the hanger. It looks gorgeous on the model. I don't know if it's the same dress on the model, but it's okay. It's not for me. Maybe it's because I'm too busty for this material and it's stretching too much that makes it see-through, but there's definitely two different colors here and here, and I'm wearing a nude color bra underneath, so not great. But I really enjoyed doing this little look for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I know if you guys are thinking, why did you not do Snow White? I did that back when I was a teenager for my character dance. So that has been done. Like I had like a, a costume for that. So I was like, I don't want to do Snow White again. I also dressed up as it as like an early 20s when I still fit the dress um, for some blog stuff. And then I was also like, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> so we went for Cinderella this time. So thank you so much to Yourstyle for providing these products for review and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!